Do stones somehow communicate and know how much they need each other to create a single building like Salisbury Cathedral? Eight hundred years ago, a builder put some stones together, then went home to tea. They are exactly where he put them still today. Each stone of no great value in itself, but with the others forms a masterpiece. Last Wednesday I was standing there and prayed for him and all his family, and like the stones, my humble prayers united with the millions of worshippers and visitors before me, who, like me, have known God's presence there, became the means of joining earth to heaven. Our union and communication, like the stones, was silent, powerful, and no less real. The soaring arches floating in the air and spire like an arrow piercing heaven, are held aloft by unattractive rocks and masonry hidden out of sight. Was it just luck, perhaps, that one unshapely lump of rock thrown out as useless fitted so neatly at the base of the main column to make the builders proud and satisfied. Just so, our Lord himself, the cornerstone, united all our prayers and gave them meaning. <laughs>